Hello Taurus and welcome to your July reading. So, I meditated on your energy and what Spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. The first card, three cards that came out, I have the Eight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Uh, and you can see it like that being like two ways of acting, two ways of reacting uh, that are in your loop here. Um, that tells me that you are in transition right now. Uh, the two of pentacle, Jupiter in Capricorn, Jupiter, planet of you know abundance and all of that that enhances everything you know like gas and um, Capricorn ruled by Saturn that is very focused and if there is a weak link somewhere in the shadow it's gonna enhance it so that um, we can adjust it Be because holding the two of them it's like a you know, receiving abundance, if we have traces of lack of abundance, then it's going to, you know, be very uncomfortable to have those two energies um, at the same time in us. This is why the Two of Pentacles, you have like in the background, water that is going up and down and those boats cannot come to shore. We cannot receive our due because we are in this loop, karmic loop, as long as we don't actually let die the old way to embrace the new now in between the two eight of wands this is when there is back and forward movement with no resistance seven of wands resistance i am defensive i'm feeling attacked there's i have to put my boundaries free flow defensiveness uh, beside that, I have temperance. So there's a healing happening here. A healing because of our experiences, because now we have attained uh, the attribute of Sagittarius, which is the capacity to see the big picture. Uh, that angel actually has the sun sign in his forehead. Imagine having the sun in your third eye. You see everything clearly. Oh my God, I get it. And it could have to do with your masculine side. That uh, functional, uh, you know, this is how we do things in the actions. Um, provider going to get the masculine. About your masculine. Uh, because under this I have the, the Empress. And that's very much Taurus. She's ruled by Venus, like you. Uh, abundance, unconditional love, having that inspiration. Maybe for some of you, you had a hard time putting it into concrete actions there. You know, when you have a million genius ideas, but they never really come to fruition because that's the masculine side that will actually, you know, especially king of Pentacle, he will make the budget, do the investment, uh, you know, make the calls. So, uh, and of course it could be also on a romantic level, but it's that readjustment of the masculine here, I see. Under our temperance, we have the Six of Cup and the Fool. Because you're able, to, it's, it's like not resisting anymore that leap of faith when it comes to the Divine Masculine, and then I have an Ace of Cup under the Divine Masculine, falling in love with the Divine Masculine, feeding and actually embracing that side, letting ourselves receive. Six of Cup is the Heart Chakra, it's the Soulmate card with the full, uh, that leap of faith, in that balanced emotion because of your uh, you know your life's experience that transmuted and transformed 
your emotions, maturing them when it came to your masculine, inside, into how you act out there, or outside, into the mirrors, the man mirror in your life. Under here, where we are juggling, either to resist this, what uh, the masculine side uh, wants to bring in, or you know, be in the flow, we have the Five of Sword. Now that means that it had to do with a combative mind here that did not want to maybe uh, compromise or lose or... Uh, because here he fights with his mind, with swords, with words. And it leaves, you know, people unhappy in the, in the background. And that energy we do outside of us or we receive it or we do it to ourselves in our little head there when it comes to these two ways of being. Always asking oneself when it comes to the five of a sword, do I want to be right or do I want to be happy? Under here, the temperance, we have the nine of cups. That wish fulfilled, like, okay, I'm gonna accept to be happy kind of thing. And then we have the Pope, which is actually Taurus, and it's applying what we have understood spiritually and applying it into our lives. Uh, bottom of the deck, I had the Queen of Sword. So that Taurus is like the readjustment of the way that you used to think, see things in a very passionate way. The guy's hair is red. That's, you know. And the, the wind is going fast. It's very passionate in a reactionary way. Uh, but now there's a readjustment here. So let's clarify this for Taurus. For the month of July, I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for July. For the month of July for Taurus. Taurus. Okay. So show me that two of pentacle with the eight of wands or the seven of wands. Maybe uh that when we restore the masculine, we feel less defensive. We can trust the masculine again and what he brings, you know, whether we're talking about real men or within or uh, the left side of the brain. <laughs> I just thought of something. Okay. Two of sword, two of one, uh, two of pentacle, two of sword. See, you, you, there's a decision that needs to be taken. Should I take things where I have to defend myself and reject them and put my willpower there, or should I do that leap of faith of allowing that type of love, even if it is strange to me, or even if it is from a masculine that me, you know, maybe in the past I had to fight against. That's why it asks, it asks for a leap of faith and to be in your heart chakra. So that the masculines that are able to bring a higher level of love can come in. And not blocking them all. Okay, temperance. And like I said, uh, doesn't have to be romantic. It can just be in your way of doing things. Your own inner masculine. Temperance. Eight of Pentacle. In uh, how you work, how you do things, the, the, how you invest your energy and what you get out of. King of Cups. Do you bring, um, you know... The, the deep emotional 
masculine side that is healed, that is calm, and that is profound. It was li it's like having been working on this and temperance now divine timing for you to actually see results in there. On that. Show me the king of pentacles. So this is a general reading. So that's why, you know, uh, it can be on it can be your father for some of you, you know. When I say the masculine, it's all of these parts. And we do have the feminine and the masculine within us. Eight of Cups, King of Wands, uh, Page of Wands. So another king. It's really the Divine Masculine here. Eight of Cups. This is understanding that, you know, maybe the Divine Masculine can bring me love and emotion, uh, abundance, peace, serenity. Um... I am going within uh, to allow this coming. Um, also moving towards embracing the fiery masculine. The masculine that has willpower. I don't have to defend myself. Maybe I can work along with him. Show me the Empress. If your inner masculine is strong, you don't have to fight. It is understood. So collaboration is much more easy. Empress. Oops. Okay. Page of cup. See, there's love coming in, and the fool, the fool. This is a leap of faith into ah. You know, it's almost like if some of you um, have met someone and you don't know if you should do that leap of faith of opening your heart to what that masculine wants to bring in, because you know what? I I kind of see that. I need that extra love in my life. This is it. Or um, if it's the dealing with you inside, then it is your, ma you know, um, re embracing or embracing the masculine with a balanced, open heart, a leap of faith. Here, the Empress, she has an, a page of cup. So that means here, she's allowing that cup to come in. This is part of the decision that you have to take. That Ace of Cup is floating. Am I going to grab it and, and, and bring it into my life? That's the decision I have to take. Show me the Six of Cup and the Fool. But the one on my hand here is the Ace of Cup, and the one here is the Six of Cup, Knight of Cups. Now a bunch of cards, but the star, okay, not going to take everything, but there we go. See, death, a purification, a transformation. It's like, okay, I'm willing to be vulnerable and not on my guards. I'm willing to allow the masculine to come into my life to bring me a cup of love also. Your feminine side is allowing it. A big decision here at the beginning, but your higher feminine side, the one that's connected to your higher self, to the angel in the you know in the Gemini card, you see it. Mm, she she wants to grab it. Okay. Woo. Uh, with the Ace of Cup, 
the queen of uh, wands death again that transformation it's actually okay what i will let myself want and desire almost admitting to yourself i want that ace of cup that's why the masculine will respond feminine masculine in the and the ones here some of you could be dealing with the fire sign but uh, you see the transformation that's happening all the feminines are at the gate of what we allow in our lives uh, you know queen of sword will be truth uh, or um, it's our vision here our will the law of attraction you're actually going to be able to manifest this because you're going to allow it in and it is a leap of faith that you're doing uh, show me that five of a sword here that that's the lingering of this that puts you in that two position you know here because ten of cups because you're at the end of what you've experienced until now and that your capacity in this you know the sun is here temperance in your capacity the ten of cups is the capacity to enjoy life to exchange emotions high vibrational emotions it's a rainbow you know it's it's so risen uh, when the the water attains that level we we're able there's a family because we were able to share with the people around us but we arrive at the ten of cups many times in our lives and here you had attained your thing because there's a there was a part of you with the five of sword that your way of thinking was a bit distorted <coughs> uh, maybe you could have easily defeated um, what you did not want to have in your life but now there's a readjustment happening where you are going to, uh, instead of being on the defensive, you're going to allow collaboration. And uh, I mean, that can be subtle happening inside, just in the way we perceive things. You know, it doesn't have to be that you were actually fighting. But um, this is a, a little shift inside of okay. I'm willing to have that happen to me so of course a higher level of love see that's why we have the 10 ace I'm accepting to have a higher level of emotional vibration when it comes to the masculine whether it is my own or the one that is mirrored in front of me nine of cups Uh, Nine of Cups, it's that moment where we are content with ourselves because we have processed our emotions. They're not on the floor, they're not dropped, they're not lacking or, or making us feel that, you know, we don't have enough. We are content. Ten of Sword. Because a way we used to think comes to an end we we have understood through the processing of these emotions how the way we thought hurted us so much and probably attracted a lot of betraying masculines and things like that seven of sword where we felt powerless or cheated or they removed our power and that's probably why you were so defensive but now we understand what was the belief behind it and that belief was holding us to a certain level in our capacity to actually freely enjoy love from the masculine pope in what is bringing us you know pope and the pope is actually applying this in our lives with discernment king of pentacle king of pentacle king of pentacle it's a readjustment of um page of sword <coughs> of your masculine that is now going to reflect your spirituality or what you believe or what you understood 
spiritually now it's going to be applied and you're going to be able to see it in your masculine in your inner masculine and the ones mirrored in front of you uh it this is a leap of faith towards the divine masculine so taurus this is beautiful and um on this i'm gonna send you all my love and light and thank you for sharing commenting and, and um you know thumbs up or whatnot just helping the channel grow thank you so much uh, if you want a personal reading the description is below there's an address where i'll send you all the information and also uh thank you for the ones of you who gave donations Oh, it helps more than you think. And on the new moon and the full moon, I'm doing a little something to give you back, a little ceremony to ask the universe to give you back. Uh, on this full moon, it's the full moon in Capricorn and an eclipse at the same time on the 4th. So be on the lookout for that in your life because whatever's in the shadow is going to be shown to you on that day. You're going to feel it. You're going to understand let it eclipse so you can move uh, to something better here that is coming for you um yeah so i'm sending all my love and light to the ones of you that are still dealing with this virus um it's not over yet and i know it's long and it's like a marathon but i'm sending my love and light so that you know healing come and the healing and the consciousness needs to happen in the way we envision each other, in our similarities, in our differences. Consciousness has to come down. I'm sending on my love and light for that also. On this, I'm going to see you next month. Bye-bye, Taurus.